Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I decided I'd keep this one separate, and this is installation of the actual timing components. I'm using the Chloe's timing kit for the 5.4 three valve engine. Here's all our components right here that we're going to be installing. The thing I'm going to do is install the timing gear. Line up the key. Might be a little bit of a tight fit. Slide. Installing a guide, remember the long bolt goes through the oil pump and the short bolt goes through up by the top by the cam phaser itself. I'm just putting them in hand tight for the time being. For the passenger side guide, you'll find that the long bolt goes at the top. I just put it in hand tight for now and then the short bolt goes at the bottom towards the oil pump. And then torque all your guides. I torqued mine down to 7.25 foot pounds of torque. Got the one sets of guides on. We're gonna start putting the chain on the left side first. And you can use a mirror, but I'm using my bore scope so I could see the mark, so I could run the chain to make it a little bit easier. The dark one is right where it's supposed to be. Dark looks dead on to me. I got to line my chain up here and too slack. Right, I gotta have it tight. If it's not tight, I got it lined up down there lined up down there and I was really second guessing myself because I still got some slack in here because the cam wants to roll forward but when I take up the slack I'm still on my mark if I hold the tensioner in we're gonna be money I'm gonna grab the guide in the tensioner and we're gonna throw that in begins I need to uh, hook that tensioner up in there come on come to daddy come to daddy okay. big thing These ones are torqued down to 18 foot pounds. You want to really double check those ones. Perfect. And then I can pull that pin, but she's already tight. Now I can pull my vice grip off because I don't need it on there anymore. All right, just got the driver's side done. I'm going to give you guys some pointers looking down below hopefully you guys can see the mark now I struggled for a little bit trying to get all the slack taken out of this bottom chain here because the camshaft naturally want to rotate backwards which would put slack in it and I'm like man I need to get this tight but I was overthinking it because all you had to do is move the cam forward because um, once you got your tension on your guide here, it took up all the slack out of there. My timing marks are dead on, and now we're ready to go over to the passenger side. Now the passenger side is going to be quite a bit easier because this camshaft has a tendency to rotate uh, counterclockwise, which would automatically take up the slack. So let's get that chain and we'll start putting it on. Comes the fun part. Trying to line up chains I can see 
you right now. I need to come. And if I go forward, I should take up the slack and I should be still on my marks, which this side makes it so much more easier. See what I mean? Passenger side so much more easier. Chain's tight because the camshaft naturally rotates that way. I am on my mark there. Go to the bore scope. I'm on my mark. Let's get those guides on and the tensioner and then we're done. This will be way easier to get the guide in. Tensioner, where are you trying to hide? I'm not doing so good at finding the hole, apparently. Apparently. It's the other bolt. Hopefully, once they're tight, check the chain. Are you sure she's riding in the rail? She's nice and tight. Pull that pin. There we go. Timing is done. So now we're ready to put this cover back on. Gonna replace the seal. The seal kit I got is a Fel Pro, and uh, we won't be needing these ones. This one's gonna bring back bad memories because that's the oil pump one. This would be for uh, the VCT solenoids, I believe. But we're only gonna need these ones, and then that one right there. So let's punch this one out. And we're gonna pound it right through. There we go. We got her out. So now the seal wants to sit right where it starts to bevel there. So that's how far we got to get it down. Brake clean and a rag. However, in order to get the seal in, this ball joint remover is going to work perfectly to get that in. Going around. New gasket into place. Fits in there nice and snug. I'm gonna retry that. Yeah. So now I got the ultra black gasket maker, and there is a few spots we got to put this on before we can reseal this cover there's actually six spots one there on the opposite side where the head meets the block so that's four and then down in the corners of the oil pan the gun on the smallest setting so I'm just gonna go ahead and just not torque things down but we're just gonna torque not torque just get everything set up first how to torque 18 foot-pounds
after you got everything torqued up don't forget you still got the four bolts on the bottom and then it's a good time to start putting your lines back on there Mounts are on let me just throw some assembly grease and one important step I almost forgot we need to put some silicon in there it wouldn't have been good because once again the crank is a torque to yield so one time use I used the installer tool to put the Hamark bouncer on so far. Now I'm using the old bolt and the big washer. And I'm going to use the impact gun to go the rest of the way to seat it. And then after it's seated, I pulled it out and I got a brand new bolt because the crank bolt is torqued to yield. So after it's torqued, you got to yield it 90 degrees. So it's one time use only. Thirty-seven. Now, hopefully, you guys saw in the video as I torqued it to thirty-seven foot-pounds, the crank was turning. So I'm just going to use my impact gun here. The purpose of the impact gun is to yield the bolt in ninety degrees that you need to set it up properly. Well, that's it. The balancer is put back on. And if you got to this part of the video, well, everything else is just reassembly. This is going to be it for the DIY version of the timing. If you want to watch the vlog of putting everything back together, it'll be on my main channel, Bullshit Corner. All right, well, I'm going to end the video there of doing the timing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video series. If it starts or not, that's another story to be told. I'm not at that stage yet, but... You guys will find out soon enough. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.